Hey guys, Ashley here, and today we are going to be opening some of these, or two of these, uh, Spider-Man Heroes and Villains trading card, which I actually got the Dollar Tree. There are eight cards per pack. I have opened these before, but never on camera. Uh, they are actually for some sort of card game, though I don't really know how, how you play it or anything like that. I just really like the art on the cards. Uh, one thing about these is that they are a bit bigger than regular trading cards, and... As such, they will not actually fit correctly into a, um, into, like, the, what do you call them, the, the, um, binder pages, you know, you can put cards in. I'll show you what I mean after, uh, we've got these open. So let's go ahead, we'll start with this pack. And you can see, it's just like a silver foil pack, got Spider-Man on the front, heroes and villains, and then the back just got... The uh, standard information right here, sets made up of 275 cards, it says. In total, 226 regular cards, 7 in, in every pack, and then 33 rare cards, 1 in every pack. 10 super rare cards, 1 in every 6 packs, 6 ultra rare cards, 1 in every 24 packs. And it says, per pack odds are not guaranteed and are based on a random sample. The content of the power card collection set is subject to change. So, you know, just pretty much the usual stuff it says on these. And I shouldn't need scissors for these, so if I do, I have mine, like, right next to me. But let's go ahead and get into this. Does not want to tear. There we go. So let's see what we have here. And this is the back of them. You can see it's Spider-Man Heroes and Villains. Power card collection, excuse me. And they all look like that. What fell? That was like a piece of a of a card that wasn't cut correctly. Okay, so the first card we're gonna, that we're going to have is going to be our rare. Um... And we have a Peter Parker card. And I actually don't have this one. So this is a new one for me. And I'm just going to uh, set these down for a minute so I can pick up what fell. That's really weird. That's like a piece of a card that wasn't cut right. You see that? I have never had something like that happen when opening a card pack. I hope it wasn't one of the ones I got in this pack. That wouldn't uh, be good. Doesn't really want to focus on him very well. Probably because of the foil. So we got Peter Parker, and we got we got Mega vs. Spidey, or um, Manga vs. is probably how that's supposed to be said. I just like I just jumped right into reading that without really looking at it, but that is really cool. Um, I don't have that one either. So another quick look at him. And then there's like the stats and stuff at the bottom, I guess, for the game. Again, I don't really know anything about that, but uh, yeah. So that's just how they look. Then anyway. There is the Traveler card. You see what I mean about the artwork? The artwork's just so nice on these. And I might have this one. I'm not actually sure. And again, it's got, like, the like the uh, information at the bottom for the game. Obviously, they all have that since they're made for a game. But anyway, so next one we got is Protege. Protege. Um, I don't think I have this card either. He looks pretty cool. We got Mirage. Him, I do think I have. Robbie Robertson. I know I have him. I've gotten a few of him, actually. This card is, like, really common, I think. But still, nice artwork, just like on all of them. Okay, we got a bonus card. This is Hawkeye's Arrow. This is, um, the bonus cards are, like, something else for the game, I believe. But I don't know, like, exactly how they work. I'm assuming something like a Magic or Trap card in Yu-Gi-Oh!, or, like, a trainer card in Pokemon, probably, but I'm not actually sure. So, there's that. I do like the Hawkeye, um, uh, artwork. And there's also little symbols up in the corner that probably mean something for the game. I don't know why I turned the card backward, because obviously they are, all look exactly alike. But, um, yeah, there's, like, the little symbol up there. That one's got the spider symbol, and then this one's got, like, where he's, um, using, like, the webbing. And then this one here, the, uh... Fusion, which is another one that I already had, um, has like a little jack-o'-lantern symbol. So I don't know what any of those mean, but there they are. So I think that was a pretty good pack, and I really like this Peter Parker card. I don't know, like, what are the common cards? My favorite might be either Manga vs. Spidey or Traveler, because I think those are pretty cool cards, too. Um, so yeah, that was a really good pack, I think. So let's go ahead and get this pack now and see what we have in here. Oh, that came right open. OK, 
Okay, so for stars, we have... Oh, we have Morbius. Oh, that's really cool. And I don't believe I have him either. I might have, like... I think... I think I have, like, a common version of Morbius. But I'm sure I don't have the rare version. So that is really cool. I love that artwork. Let's go ahead and set him aside. We got a bonus card here. Doctor Doom's armor. Doctor Doom. <laughs> So there he is. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and set him over here next to uh, Human Torch. Sure. So anyway, so you guys can see what I did. Um, we got Iron Fist. Well, oh, that's really nice artwork. I loved Iron Fist in like the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. A lot of people didn't like that cartoon, I don't think, but at least from what I remember, like reading online, a lot of people didn't like it. But I thought it was really good. Uh, personally, though, I have. It's probably an unpopular opinion, but I actually didn't like Spectacular Spider-Man, and I barely remember it, even though I did watch it. So, you know, to each their own. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, we got Iron Fist, and that is just, that's really cool artwork on that one. I, there's so much, I don't know, there's so much detail goes into these. I really like that. So anyway, we got um, Morlun, I think is how that's said. Uh, again, just like, just such good artwork. Oh, we got Nova, another one who is in um, Ultimate Spider-Man. Nova was probably one of my favorite characters in that. So there he is, and his artwork just looks so awesome. Okay, we got Hydra Man, and I don't have that the Nova card either. I don't think I had Iron Fist or Morlin either. So far, far I haven't had any duplicates in this pack. We got Hydro Man. This one might be a duplicate. Uh, for me, but I'm not actually sure. So there is Hydro Man. We got, okay, we got uh, one of these, like, team-up cards, Spidey and Absorbing Man. And these have, like, this little explosion symbol up in the corner. And then down at the bottom, the stats are a bit different, just like on the bonus cards. So that's pretty cool. I don't have this one either. Actually, I don't think this one would be a team-up card. Why do I keep flipping them around? But, um... In any case, there's, like, cards like this, and I think that these ones are called team-up cards, but I don't remember. But anyway, and then we have the Super Soldier Serum, and I know I have this card already. I suppose it's fine to have duplicates, though, I mean, if I were to ever get into the game. Honestly, though, I'll probably just give them to my cousin uh, when they come up, but... Uh, yeah, that was all we got in that pack, and I think these were both... I think we had pretty good pulls in both of these. Obviously, aside from the foil rare cards we got, which are awesome. I don't know how rare they can really be considered when they give you one in each pack, though. But still, I really, really love those foil cards. Uh, from the first pack, like I said, my favorite would probably be like the Traveler or the Manga vs. Spidey. If I can find them again, here they are. Just the artwork on these is just really good, as I've said multiple times now. And then for the second pack, I would probably go with with Nova, just because I really, really like how that looks. Okay, so that was everything we got in these. I think these are a really good value for a dollar. I've never actually seen them anywhere but our Dollar Tree, so I don't know how much these would run at other places. But for a dollar for eight cards, I think these are really good value, and I really like them. I... I was kind of hoping we would get a super rare card. I've gotten only two of those, uh, I think, before. But um, they're just kind of like the foil cards, but they're like a brighter foil. And Oh, I almost forgot. I so said I was going to show you guys what I meant about them not fitting properly in pages. So I've got my um, NHL book right here. And you see I can put this in, but he just it like just sticks out the top you can just barely tell but it is sticking out the top there so it doesn't actually fit in the way these ones do where you can see they're pushed all the way down in and therefore safer from water damage and he's gonna be oh, I thought it was gonna be hard to get back out but he wasn't so yeah that's what I was talking about there they are a bit big for these they probably I don't know if they would fit in t a top loader or not I don't I would see, but I don't know where my top loaders are. <laughs> They're in this mess under my desk somewhere. I have some card boxes piled up, and somewhere down there are my top loaders. But anyway, um, so that was what we got, and we got this weird little um, 
poorly cut card piece, so someone's got a card that's missing part of it. But, um, as I said, I think these are a really good value for a dollar. And if you find them at your Dollar Tree, I would recommend them myself because I just really love the artwork on these. And they're just, I think they're really good cards. So, thank you all so much for watching. And if you like this, I hope to see you all next time. Bye, guys!